<laughs> yes. Hello and welcome to my review of the SV503 70mm ED Refractor by SV Boney. Being fairly new to the hobby of astrophotography, I chose this scope in part for its affordability and the reviews. This is a well-built piece of machinery, and I am excited to share with you my thoughts. Weighing in at just under 2.5 kilograms, the 70ED is the perfect size for my Skyguider Pro. The dual speed rack and pinion focusing system was a pleasant surprise on the telescope of this price point. With a reduction ratio of 1 to 10, the smooth action of the coarse and fine adjustments make focusing a breeze. If you're doing astrophotography, you know how difficult it is to get a good framing of your target. And you can tell SV Boney had astrophotographers in mind when they included this rotating focus. The focus will rotate 360 degrees, barring that you have no other accessories mounted on top. However, there is one caveat that will restrict the rotation, but I'll get to that in just a minute. Classified as achromatic refractors, all telescopes in the 503 series come equipped with extra low dispersion SFPL51 glass, which drastically cuts back any chromatic aberration. And yes, I know it's dusty, I cleaned it, I promise. The telescoping dew shield is a great touch. Not only does it protect your aperture from dew formation, but it also blocks out stray light. One of my favorite things about the 503 are two dovetail ready mounts for your accessories. Whether you want to put on a finder scope, a laser pointer, or a guide scope, the SV503 has you covered. My personal go-to combo is a guide scope and laser pointer. And while the 503 is dovetail mount ready, they will need to be purchased separately. Unlike their apochromatic counterparts, achromatic refractors are known for their field distortions, especially those with smaller apertures. That being said, I would highly suggest obtaining a field flattener. SV Boney offers a reducer and field flattener combo specifically designed for each of their telescopes. If you're like me and use a DSLR for your astrophotography, you'll need the proper T-ring adapter. When connecting your camera to the field flattener, you'll need to ensure that you have exactly 55 millimeters of back focus in order to get the best picture possible. The adapter is exactly 8.5 millimeters in width, which also seems to be the common spacing needed for many Nikon cameras to achieve back focus. A 2 inch to 1.5 inch adapter comes standard on the 503 series telescopes. This makes it an easy and quick way to get your field flattener camera combo connected to your telescope. Unlike other field flatteners that are tenuously held in place with thumb screws, I don't have to worry about the SV Boney flattener falling out, as it's screwed in nice and tight. The SV165 is an excellent beginner's guide scope. This F4 120mm scope offers a nice bright view of the night sky. But just a word of warning, it is a little tricky to focus. The tube rings are solidly built and offer an alternative place to place your guide scope on top. And now I would like to offer my only critique for the SV503 70ED. The combo of adding my camera, the flattener, the accessories such as the laser pointer and guide scope adds significant weight to the setup. Adding more weight to the back end of the telescope creates a shift in the center of gravity. With the center of gravity shifted toward the back end of the telescope, a longer dovetail mount would be needed in order to get a proper balance. However, I've found that adding a longer dovetail mount prevents the rotating focus from moving more than a few degrees. The dual focus system gets in the way. This could easily be fixed with some spacing between the scope and the dovetail mount. However, that would create more balance problems along the right ascension axis. And with that out of the way, I'd like to share with you some of the progress I've made in the short time that I've had this 70ED. I started my astrophotography adventure back in March of 2021. Armed with only a camera, telephoto lens, and tripod, and absolutely zero idea what I was doing, I wanted to try. My first attempt was the Andromeda Galaxy. It was that moment I knew I was hooked. 
Fast forward to September of 2021, I finally had my first tracker, my first telescope, and I was ready to go. The first night out with my new equipment was supposed to be more of a run-through, figuring out how to set up things, how to acquire a target, but I decided to give it a try and point my telescope at the North American Nebula. I didn't have a field flattener at this point, but decided to try 20 90-second shots. And just a couple months before the posting of this video, I retried M31, Andromeda. This is truly a great telescope. I'm proud to be a member of the SV Boney family.